guys welcome back to our channel today I'm gonna start off with a brand new melted hairline unit by Otre this one is called Kalara and I have her in the color DRFF2 slash ginger brown and guys this is 34 inches long she's super duper long so this gets me once I pull on it it gets me past my hips a little bit past my hips going down but this is what it looks like I know you guys can't see all the way down but this is what the ends look like it look a little bit bushy a little bit you know rough but once you add it doesn't feel like it it just looks like it because it's you know a little bit more frizzy and flared out but once you add some like mousse to it or some lightweight oil you should be fine I did add a little bit of lightweight oil but not really to the ends mostly up here just to give it a little bit of sheen because it was looking on the dull side so I did have to go in just with a little bit of oil just to give it some just a little bit of sheen but anyway guys let's get into it okay so first of all I saw melted hairline and when I looked at the stock card, I mean not the stock card, the cap construction and everything, it wasn't really giving me melted hairline vibes. Now you do get a little bit more hair, I mean a little bit more lace at the front and stuff like that. But the parting space, usually you, you get like a wider parting space. This one was wider than usual, than like your regular parting space, but not as wide as the melted hairline parting space. I don't know, for some reason... It wasn't given melted hairline like the front even the hairline and everything it says pre-plugged but it's not that pre-plugged you would have to go in and tweeze it some more it comes with baby hairs along the entire hairline as you guys can see right here I did not tweeze anything off of this part right here but um it's pretty dense it is pretty dense the hairline is pretty thick so yeah it's a little bit deceiving for a melted hairline I would expect it to look a lot better than this but anyway you could glue this down once you glue it down I think it'll be easier you can tweeze it up and make it look really good but for the most part like I said it's not given melted hairline like the others are given melted hairline but anyway um the texture on this it has a light yaki hair texture but guys prepare yourself not for really that much snags on tangling because it is 34 inches long so you would expect it to like tangle or snag and stuff like that but I'm not I don't think it will tangle and snag that much but it sheds a lot it sheds a whole lot so keep that in mind as fast as I was finger combing it pulling on it if I continue to pull on it I think I would continue to get shedding so that's one thing I don't really like about it um, for the most part this is all the hair to the front right and this is the density that you get it feels like because this is not like a stretchable mesh net or anything it's a regular cap construction so you know you have those lines in the cap and those sp the spaces in between and stuff like that i'm scared that if i keep finger combing this that you will start seeing the spaces because it's not that full up here it's not that full the hair down here gives you a lot of volume once you you know fluff it out but up here it doesn't feel like that thick so I'm scared like I don't know how it's gonna look when I turn around maybe you'll see in between the hair maybe you won't I'm not too sure but yeah I didn't really like that it sheds that much because it just feels like it's already thin up here I don't want it to get any thinner so for the rest of the cap you do get two combs up front one at the back the adjustable straps it's a regular cap construction like I said and you have an elastic band in the wig it's not an adjustable elastic band or anything it isn't that snug but it's snug enough whereas if it's comfortable but I don't think it really does much because the sideburns still lifts up a lot see still lifts up a lot so it's not really doing anything much to keep it glueless or anything like that but it is pretty comfortable I have to say that but anyway this is what the stock card looks like the hair is heat safe up to 400 degrees and um it is an HD transparent lace wig of course so I did have to add my lace and spray to it just so it blends up better with my skin complexion now I love how the black looks look how the one b looks on her I think the black the black looks really really cute I mean I love this color as well but I think the black on this looks really good maybe the texture would be a little bit different with the black who knows but I'll leave all the colors that it comes in in the description box down below so you can check it out I'll leave a link for you guys to go purchase um all that good stuff all the products that I use will be in the description box as well comment down below let me know what you think about this one and we'll see in my next review but thanks again for watching like subscribe follow us on all our social media accounts everything is at wig types and I'll see you guys soon bye